Hello everybody, Julie Somers from Living Our Visions. Uh, welcome, welcome. And I thought today we'd tap on, I can't get focused. You know, I, I hear this all the time and, you know, I'm actually the same at times. I'm like a mad woman running around <laughs> doing a bit of do this and a bit of that and not really much of anything. I think we, if we're honest, we, we all have days like that. And I must confess that sometimes I have entire weeks like that. As, as much as I try... I still have weeks like that and I think it's usually a, a sort of a subtle way of us procrastinating because uh, we don't really want to deal with what happens if we do do a certain task and get focused. Uh, for example, if you do a whole lot of work on videos, <laughs> like I do, then people can criticise you. So you might sort of stuff around for a hours on end not doing them <laughs> until you think you know what it might help someone so let's get our focus back on that Jill that's what I say to myself so let's talk about getting focused even though I'm not focused and I forgot to say please take full responsibility for your own health and well-being go and read the disclaimer before you tap along here we go even though I'm really not focused at the moment and it's driving me crazy I love and accept myself anyway. And even though I just can't seem to get focused, other people seem to produce magnificent volumes of work. <laughs> and here I am, doing this, round and round in circles. And I love and accept myself anyway. And even though I just can't get focused sometimes, who knows why? I forgive myself. And I fully and completely love and accept myself, even for all of my lack of focus at times. All this lack of focus. All this Facebook farting around. <laughs> all this LinkedIn. And now there's Pinterest. And all this leaving silly messages. And ticking like just because it's fun. All this lack of focus, it's stopping me from doing what I really know I should be doing. Take a big breath in, let it out. Usually an emotion sort of floats up to the surface or it might even be a constriction in your throat or some sort of thing that changes when you've done a round of tapping. For me it was actually frustration. So I'm going to do a tap on that but you replace those words with whatever you're feeling. All you have to do is sort of think about how you're feeling while you're tapping along. Don't even need to say the words. Even though I'm feeling really frustrated because I know that my work can really help other people. And here I am faffing around. I love and accept myself anyway. And even though I think I take the longest route of getting anywhere than anyone I know, <laughs> at times, I love and accept myself anyway. And even though I don't understand it, but I know somewhere deep inside of me has its reasons. I love and accept that part of me too. All this faffing around and all this frustration. I know I can get more focused. I'm choosing to be more focused. I'm choosing to be more focused. I'm choosing to be more focused. I'm choosing to stop beating myself up when I'm not. I'm just choosing to be more focused. Take a big breath in and let it go. Now what's come up for me, and as I said, everyone's different, so whatever's come up for you, that's what you're focusing on mentally while we tap in the next bit. I'm just going to go straight to tapping. I 
I forgive myself for not being focused. I know a lot of it's actually fear-based. I forgive myself for not tackling things that means I'm putting myself out there in the public eye. Because that's scary sometimes. Even though I've been in the public eye for a long time. Sometimes you just run out of confidence. So I'm choosing to find those people in my life. And maybe will hold me a bit more accountable. Maybe I'll just check in with them each couple of days so they can go, how's it going? How's your plan going? I think this could be good. And I think I'll stop making huge task lists every day. Just maybe put one or two things on there so it's more manageable. So I can let go of the panic. <laughs> stop trying to be superwoman. Which just puts me into a flat. It makes me achieve absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm letting all of that go now. Just a couple of simple things every day. And when they go on my list, they're not negotiable. So I'll have a sense of achievement. Which will make me feel much better about myself. And ready to tackle the following day. Letting go of all the angst around me. Not being perfect. Perfectly organised. Perfectly focused. Just doing my best every day. Take a big breath in and release. I hope some of you can uh, identify with this and I hope it really helps you if you're in the same position as I often get myself into. And I'll see you on the next tap. Bye.